Good morning! Welcome to Izaka Onsen Town. Today I'm going to take you guys on a tour of this beautiful 1,000 year old town which is easily accessible from Tokyo. You can get up here in two hours on the bullet train and enjoy a traditional Japanese onsen experience. We have a very handsome tour guide today. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Hello, <laughs> good morning. How you doing, guys? Chris has been here before, so... Yeah, I actually was here last month on Journey Across Japan. Had probably the best food of the entire trip, which was some gyoza. We had to sort of rush off and go and do something else, so it's nice to come back with you and actually see a bit more of the town. It's beautiful yeah. so far. Yeah, I can't really wait is. to show it to you guys. And Chris has been going on about this gyoza ever since he ate it, so tonight we are going to eat the gyoza. It's very good. The best gyoza in Japan, apparently. Both me, Paul, <laughs> Ian, we're all like, this is the best thing ever. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. I know lots of you are looking for an onsen experience that you can do within Tokyo, but honestly, I recommend kind of getting out of the city, coming out to the countryside, somewhere a little less touristy and enjoying it this way. It's so easy to get here. Hop on the bullet train to Fukushima. There's a little train that comes to the town, then you can walk around. The train's be... onsen themed. It's it cute. is. It's a gorgeous town, but let's get going. Our first stop is wagashi making. It should be fun. I've never made nerikiri before and I love it. It's my favorite wagashi, so I'm really excited to see how they make it today. Panko te red bean paste de iso. Hai, daijoubu desu. Hai. Red bean paste nerikiri o kouette te no hira de nobashimasu. Kore te red bean paste dake desu ka? Hoka ni nanka ano mochi ko. Ah, so mochi. Hai, mochi to mizu ame blue no tokoro ni eh white to de eh fuji. Hai. Yubi de iro no グラデーションカラーグラデーションがすごいえ、パンコを置くライカ寿司うんでよにおおできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなできるかなでき
They're so soft. Yeah, they're very delicate. Subtly sweet, not overpoweringly sweet. It's kind of got the texture of marzipan, but without that distinct flavor of marzipan, right? That's true. Like a softer marzipan. I just love sitting down with a matcha green tea, mm. getting one of these. Cancels out the sort of bitterness of green tea. I know that some people are kind of put off by the sweet red bean paste, but it's really nice. Basically, it just tastes like sugar, and it's healthy for you. <laughs> pop into a little bakery here that Yotaro recommended actually. It's been around for 80 years and apparently it's run by a little old man who's really sweet. So I want to see what the uh, the popular foods they sell at this bakery are. Konnichiwa! <laughs> <laughs> So this bread has an onsen tamago inside. That's an egg that is cooked in the onsen water here in Izaka. I've actually never had an onsen tamago before. They're really famous in like Hakone. You'll see all the tourists buying the black egg there. Oh, it smells so good. Freshly baked bread. And it looks like it has a little bit of cream or cheese on top. Itadakimasu. Tastes like um, kind of like a McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> My dream come mm. true. It's so orange. We are stopping to visit the famous Ryokan cat. If you stay at this Ryokan here, you can have a, a visit with this adorable cat, and they've especially brought him. Uh, Onna this. Her out to meet with me. How sweet. Hello. So this is Fu Chan. She was born in the rafters here at Horieya Yokan, and they've taken care of her ever since. She's become quite famous in this town. People come just to visit her. Hi. So Izaka Onsen is not only famous for Ryokan, but they're also famous for Ashiyu. And there's four different places that you can walk around and enjoy the hot onsen water on your feet mm. and also your hands at this place, which is something I've never seen before. So you can purchase a towel for like a dollar or two, or you can bring your own if you like. Look at that steam. That looks really nice. So the water here is alkaline, which means it's very soft. It makes your skin very soft. The opposite of Tsurunoyu, where well, we were like, at recently. You can put your feet in the onsen water, and then you can also drink it. What? And, uh... no. no, don't listen to him. <laughs> horrible, horrible advice. This is so neat. I wonder how many places have Teiyu like this. It's nice if you don't want to take your shoes off. You can just warm up your hands, which is necessary on a really chilly day like today. Oh, that's quite hot. <laughs> it's very hot. <laughs> they told me we were at the cool end too, so apparently the hot water comes out from there and uh, runs down here. So this is the cooler bath, but wow, that's quite hot. Okay, once you get used to it, it's all right. I think our feet just need warming up. <laughs> oh. 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 That is weird. I guess my feet are really You'll cold. It's a cold it. day, though, right? Mine are okay now. It feels good. For lunch, we had to visit Eidaku Saryo. They're famous in Izaka for their large portions and extremely reasonable prices. You can get a Teishoku lunch set like this for just 1,000 yen. I love how you get to try so many different side dishes, and Chris said it was the best salmon he had ever had. You have to come here for lunch if you're in Izaka. So next, Chris and I are heading to get a special kimono experience. It's not just any kimono. We're going to be wearing the traditional Japanese wedding kimono, and Chris will be wearing the hakama. Oh, wow. And we're gonna get a photo shoot done oh, wow. wearing wedding clothes. It's a really <laughs> special experience that you would usually only do if you're getting married in Japan. And it usually costs a lot of money. Right? A lot of money. Yeah. Japanese wedding clothes are very unique. You wear a, a big white hood, a white kimono, and I'm not sure what the men wear, so I guess we will find out soon. We're 
starting with the hairstyle. I told her that she can do whatever she wants, really. I've never done a, a wedding hairstyle before, so it'd be interesting to see how it turns out. What kind of hairstyle do you think I should do for the wedding? Oh. Curly. <laughs> All up. All up and like, curly. Like a vase. Like a vase. Do you have any good ideas? No. Mm. No, I don't. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so after my hair was finished, the hard part starts. We start putting on the layers and layers of kimono. The first step is to kind of flatten everything flatter you can get your figure, the nicer the kimono will look. So they wrap you tightly in lots of cloth to kind of smooth out any curves. And this is not something you can do yourself, or at least not easily. You really need a lot of help with it. So there were a few ladies helping me get dressed. I think the whole process took about an hour and I was so amazed at how heavy the kimono was. <laughs> so heavy. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Oh, Whoa. It's like wearing a futon. <laughs> yeah, feels like I've got a futon when on my it shoulders. Out, it look like a blanket. <laughs> wow. And apparently they even wear the same style of kimono in the summer. I can't imagine how hot that would be. Yeah, it looks cool. Mm, it smells good. <laughs> good. What does it smell like? I think it took Chris only about 10 minutes to get his hakama on. Wow. Look good. I have to stand up really straight, otherwise yeah. I can't breathe. How do you feel? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite tight. The pressure is immense. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. It looks really good. It's so silky smooth. Is it comfortable? No. <laughs> I can't move. I can't lift my arms up, so Chris is gonna have to hold the camera <laughs> from here on. And you have to keep your arms like this or else or else you see the bands that are holding it together. So Ooh. you have to like keep your arms in this position and you can't move. So I'm gonna waddle over to the photo studio now. My feet are in so much pain. <laughs> I really feel for Japanese brides. I can't imagine wearing this for longer than an hour. I think I would give up. Typically after the ceremony, they get changed out of it relatively fast. I, think. I can imagine. I can't wait to get it off. <laughs> the local villagers have come out <laughs> to take a look at the bride as she makes her way through the village. It's kind of awkward. There's uh, a lot of people watching. It's a lot of people this watching. Absolute spectacle. Let's practice for the wedding. This is like uh, the 20th of the people that will be there. You're walking too fast. <laughs> <laughs> The Charla model oh. needs an update to move faster. Need some sneakers, that's what I need. Charla Mark V. I'm wearing sneakers at the wedding, <laughs> decided. It took about an hour to get Charla's dress on. It took about, what, 10, 15 minutes to get mine on maybe? Yeah, 10 so, minutes. It's great being a guy. Too fast. Oh, dear. <laughs> Too fast. Just stand here and wait. So, <laughs> So now we're going to put on the wataboshi, the cotton hood. It's the formal wedding hat for women. I think she has to change my hairstyle a little bit to fit it over, we'll see. I was so surprised to find out that this hat wasn't made of a sturdy fabric. I had seen it in photos and it always looked so perfect and round and I always figured it was firm. But what they do is they attach a frame to your head and then they put this soft fabric hat over top of that, kind of like a lantern or something. <laughs> can't move my head the <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully this is where we're taking the pictures. <laughs> we took some photos outside as well. We had to keep adjusting my hat because it kept falling over my eyes. If you'd like to see some of the photos from the shoot, you can see them over on my Instagram page. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> I'm excited oh. to see the photos. I feel like I've been compressed. 
like <laughs> industrial <laughs> compression. It looks really good. It suited you. You it, look good at it. It, it looked kind of cool. Yeah, it looked kind of cool actually. Um, maybe I should get one. You don't really see it there. You don't really see many people in Japan wearing traditional clothing in everyday life. Sometimes well, in Kyoto, yeah. always at festivals and ceremonies. I, I see lots of ladies wearing kimono. They probably do sado, like a tea ceremony right, yeah, practice. They'll go to classes and stuff. They'll but be wearing their kimono. There's usually an underlying reason for it. We're heading to a Dagashia now. I really like this town. There's so much to do here. So many little shops and they've all been around for like hundreds of years. Passed a, down generation to generation. And it's a very walkable kind of little town. drink but they come in like little capsules very sweet <laughs> very like Love those. only 32 yen so really joke price cheap. i feel like they haven't raised the price since the showa era yeah <laughs> that's great that's why dagashi san is so nice yes refreshing <laughs> yotaro was telling me that you can blend your own green tea here they'll give you three types of green tea you can taste test them and decide how much of each blend you want to put into your, your little mix and make your own personal green tea. So that's really cool. Unfortunately, we don't have time for that today, but if you guys come to Izaka, check that out, because that sounds really fun. That'd make a really cool souvenir. Yotaro's Osusume. This is like 100% peach uh, juice. And then this is like, a, it looks like a, just a water, yeah. mineral water, but it isn't. It's a secret. I sure secret, no. <laughs> secret. This is mine. And this is for you. Shut up. Thank you. Prezi. And you got those animals. So, you know what you yeah, should do, right? So, do. Is that the mascot of Izaka? Is that the girl? Yeah, it's or the girl. This is, is the, this is like the, the, the character, character for Izaka, Izaka Onsen. onsen. She's really cute. Yeah, there are 130 of them in the whole Japan. Like it, representing all the Onsen yes. towns, right? Yes. This is the girl for Izaka. Yeah. Okay, so I just twist this, right? Yeah. Okay. And you get a bunch of matcha powder and then you twist it back up and shake it and you have fresh green tea. How cool is that? That's so cool. Let's taste. They sell these in Kyoto. Oh, Kyoto they did it. Recently. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wish they had these in more shops, like in the konbini. I would buy that. No, the... Uh, yeah, the really well. well, I heard that the, you know, the cap, the lid, yeah. is very hard to make. And they were like, <laughs> there's it? some... Yeah, like uh, uh, the, the company, Sakata, is the one who makes it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. This is so yeah, good. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. <laughs> ah, that's refreshing after the kimono experience. <laughs> Needed a drink. <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna get Yotaro to introduce me to his favorite dagashi. What do you recommend? I would go for one of these. One of these. Why? What's the grape about flavor, these? lemon flavor, soda flavor? Which which flavor do you want to go with? I like soda. Soda, but yeah. let's go for soda. Okay, so it comes with three bowls. Oh, perfect. For of me like, you and Chris. Yeah, exactly. Gum, <laughs> right? And what can you gum? I'm five foot anyway. Gum should be gum. And then one of them. It's very, very, very sour. Yeah, right. I hope <laughs> so, Chris gets that one. He likes sour stuff, like so he'll be happy. It's like a Russian yeah. roulette, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yonju. Yonju, sorry. Yes, see. She's 43 yen. Yes, <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> okay. Now, Chris, he's trying them. All three of us. There's three, so three somebody's going to get the sour one. one. Sour just by looking. I don't think you can. No, I don't think you can. See? Oh, I don't, no, same. I don't think you can. No. Oh, no. Uh, can't be the middle one. Oh no, Kawaiyo! <laughs> Just Kawaiyo. take that. Okay, okay, three, wait, two, one, wait, wait, right? Wait, wait, okay, okay, right, right, right. Three, two, one. One. So far, so good. Should I bite it? I think it's in the middle. No problem. Me! Is it right here? It's a revenge. Ha uh ha. -huh. That bad, eh? <laughs> My god. <laughs> Are you regretting oh your my choices? <laughs> Pretty yummy. Oh, they're nicely served. Oh, nice. Some tea, <laughs> some tea to save your time. Oh, arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Cheers. Oh, it's good. It's good. Buy more of them. And you like them. You want the sour one. I want to try the sour one. <laughs> <laughs> it's curious. I'm curious. I wish they were all sour. <laughs> Wasn't being a baby. <laughs> It's quite sour. <laughs> In almost acidic burning kind of way. Oh. <laughs> My god. 
Did you get that? He didn't believe you that it was sour, so he had to get it one. Is, it is sour. <laughs> we know that now. So there are 40 yokans in this town and Whoa. 40 restaurants and cafes you can eat at, and all of them are within walking distance. Tonight we are going for Chris and Yotaro's recommendation of gyoza, this massive plate mm. of, what, what's the difference? They're like deep fried gyoza? They're crispy or something? It's called UFO gyoza and they have the gyoza in a circle on a big plate. Okay. And yeah, they kind of deep fry them almost. So they have the most incredible batter. But the, the pork and the vegetables inside, it's just so well done. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to really it because good. he has not stopped talking about it since he <laughs> ate them a few weeks ago. It's so true. I'm glad I can finally try them myself. I can smell the garlic already. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so this shop has been open for 40 years and they are famous for Enban Gyoza. And this comes with 21 gyoza. There's one family uh, who actually was in China during the war, came back to Japan, and I try to remember the, the, the great taste, the flavor of the gyoza that they had in China, so that they tried to make a replica. So this is the kind of origin of the izaka gyoza we are having tonight. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> UFO the UFO gyoza. The gyoza, hey go. It looks so crispy. <laughs> it is, Yum. it is, it should be. And then there's so many like, it's, uh, shops that serve gyoza in the izaka, right? Mm. And apparently, this place, Ogata, mm. is like the garlic guest. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Buon appetito. Buon Will it be enough? Cabbage, pork, garlic. It's like Delightful. 50% garlic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. mm. Yotaro's letting me have a bite of his ramen. I said I didn't no, eat one, but then I saw it. <laughs> it looked Everyone's amazing. Like, <laughs> this is only 600 yen, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, 600 yen for this bowl of ramen. <laughs> mm. Really peppery. Teach Chris. Instruction number one of slurping is first of all, you take your noodle be smoothly without dropping any of the noodles and then put into your mouth pretty slowly quite deep and then slurp Whoa. <laughs> pro and now chris will demonstrate how much he has learned in the past couple of months yeah from me <laughs> well how do i professor dies on <laughs> Professor Dyson. <laughs> no, that, that's not bad. Professor Dyson. Can't even get the sobbing needle out of the fucking one. roll. Alright, step one. It wasn't overly smooth. Professional. Hey! 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 hey, 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 hey. Yeah, not not bad. bad. Oh my god. <laughs> he needed you, got, you got a good professor Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice. Really nice ramen. Yeah. Simple soy sauce broth. I normally don't go for soy sauce broth. Chris always orders soy sauce oh. broth. And I always wondered why, because I feel like I had it once and I didn't really like it. But having this one, <laughs> now I can see what it's supposed to taste like. This is really good. Like soy sauce ramen is the most common ramen in North Japan, mm. right? Yeah. Is it? Yes, it Not is. Not tonkotsu. Probably why I like it. No, 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 never. Like, you've got to hold kind of. Sapporo. Yeah. I was just, only got to hold kind of Sapporo. It's a miso. It's kind of like a miso. Northern Japan, it's like all soy sauce. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was so good. It was really worth, good. Worth coming to Fukushima alone for the gyoza. And the ramen! <laughs> the most amazing ramen for 600 yen. I'm still blown away that it was so cheap. I really hope you guys will come up to Izaka Onsen and explore it, because there are lots of cool things to do here. Mm. Make some wagashi. Foot enjoy bath. the foot baths. Yeah, I had a blast. You could come up here for like a one night stay. Stay at a cool ryokan and then explore the area and check out the cafes and restaurants. Just be careful who you bump into around town. <laughs> Arigatou gozaimashita! Enjoy the video! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye!